As a child, I always knew I wanted to be an artist. Growing up in Virginia as a left-handed military brat, I always kind of thought outside of the box. Taking trips up to Philadelphia to see my aunts was always a joy. I loved Philadelphia, its energy, its radio stations, its museums, and its murals, especially its murals. The people, my uncles, my aunts, the city always had so much soul. After living in California and New York, I've decided to make Philadelphia my home. Since moving to Philadelphia in 2006, I've done a couple of gallery shows, worked at over a dozen schools, and have murals all over the city. My current exhibition, entitled Illustrated Sounds of Philadelphia, I want to convert into a 50-page hardback book. The book will showcase 32 paintings and 20 illustrations. Most of the paintings are 4 to 6 feet tall, which is great for gallery viewers, but not tangible for everyday people to take home. That's where the book comes in. In the book, each painting will be accompanied by personal stories, interviews, photos, and behind the scenes information about the artist and how they inspired me as well as millions of others. And each one of these artists being from Philly is that much even more serious. Like, look at the power and the and, and just what it is. Like, how much history just comes from Philadelphia, period. The original state where the capital was. This was the original capital of the United States. Little people don't know that before oh, yeah. they moved to DC. So um, talk to a little bit more about the exhibit, Illustrated Sounds of Philadelphia. The Illustrated Sounds of Philadelphia, it sounds a little tongue-tied, but um, Basically, it's just playing off of TSOP, for those that don't know, that's the Sounds of Philadelphia, um, Gamblin Huff, who are great producers, songwriters, and musicians. Um, kind of laid the grassroots and the foundation for a lot of the big artists that we know that have come out of Philadelphia, the Delphonics, the Stylistics, um, Teddy Pendergrass, um, then going into you know, the Patti LaBelle's and the Will Smiths and the Roots and Jill Scott and all these great artists that have come out of Philadelphia. So basically, I wanted to highlight, um, you know, just the, the, the soulful sounds that come out of Philadelphia, because I don't think a lot of times people realize how much talent is here in Philadelphia. Okay. So you hear these songs and these sounds on the radio, mm -hmm. but you know your New York artists, you know your California, but you don't always realize that these are grassroots Philadelphia artists that have actually, you know, mm -hmm. transcended and left. Please log on to kickstarter.com or check out my website nattyrebel.com for updates and find out how you can contribute. All of the book images have been created and formatted. Now we need to raise additional funds for printing and publishing. Your pledges will help make this Illustrated Sounds of Philadelphia book project a success. Thank you. So how did you feel about the Andre Jones' work at Vibrant Art tonight? I feel like it's really beautiful, it's very moving. I really appreciate his artist. I love Vivian Green, it's a beautiful picture. I love the blue. Jill is beautiful as well. I want to buy Holiday, Timmy Terrell. The Roots is wonderful. They should come buy this work. They should, they should know it's here and they can buy it of themselves, you know? Because it's that decent. No, seriously. I love Jill, by the way. Everybody was there. I also love Vivian, and I love um, Left Eye with the waterfall. I love it. I really do. I also love how he did the freeway and beat me depicting Philadelphia, my hometown. I loved it. 52nd Street, loved it.
Um, but all in all, I really enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm really happy that I came out. Yeah, man.